Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Axel here. So today I'm going to talk about a new feature, which is not 100% sure, but probably coming to DDO, and that's Reaper mode. And this Reaper mode is going to serve as an additional difficulty on top of Elite. It's going to work. My understanding is it's going to work as some kind of challenge difficulty. So before we get started, I've talked about this type of thing a lot in the past. I had a video, oh, probably over a year ago, which was fairly popular, which was called DDO Needs a Mythic Difficulty, where I basically laid out my argument for why we should get, uh, we should see a higher difficulty above Elite in DDO, and I'll post that video below so you can check it out. And since then, I've not really posted a lot of feedback on that. About a year ago, I kind of I kind of let all of my arguments out. I talked about it. I tried to argue about it. I posted in the players' council forums and the general forums. You know everything I could do to try to get um, the devs to listen to my ideas for a higher difficulty because my opinion it was very desperately needed. Now since then, I had sort of given up because it seemed from just reading developer posts just watching their lack of any kind of development in this area over the past year, I'd given up and pretty much assumed that their answer to uh, my criticisms or my cries for a new higher difficulty, other players' cries for a higher difficulty was basically no, that it wasn't worth it, either it wasn't worth the develop developer hours or they didn't think there was enough demand for it. But for, but for whatever reason, I had basically accepted the fact that that wasn't going to happen and I was really surprised when I found out a few days ago that on the Monian we now have a preview of Reaper mode. Now, a couple things to note. Reaper mode is not going to come in update 33. That's already been confirmed. It's right there on the Lamania forums. So don't expect that. And it's not actually been 100% confirmed. So while there is a preview of this on Lamania, it's not 100% that it's going to hit the live servers. Yeah, since there is a preview of it on the money, it means yeah, there's it's probably going to come into the game either update 34 or so, so you could expect, but it's not 100% sure yet. But what we do know now is that uh, Reaper did follow the formula that I argued for a year ago and a lot of other players argue for, which is all mobs are champs. You can go on uh, the previous server now and look at this uh, as you can see in the footage right now which was given to me by a DDO forum poster named Sam Uri. He gave me the okay for it, so thanks to him. Uh, as you can see, uh, the mobs are all champions. There's some kind of skull system which hasn't been thoroughly explained yet, but it looks like you can modify the challenge from like one to 10 skulls. So if you wanna play like Reaper one skull, it's gonna be easier than Reaper 10 skull. It's very much early in development and there's a lot of bugs right now, but one thing we do know is that one significant thing that developers did was they implemented debuffs and I'm not surprised by that it's basically needed I think we've reached the point in DDO where classes now have so many options that they can cover like basically every single weakness so there's really no way to challenge characters as they currently exist more other than just putting in one shot mechanics and that's one of the problems we're addressing by debuffing. The thing thing is, there's so much self healing in the game. There's so much, so many ways to build up your defense that it doesn't really matter if you take 25% damage because you everyone can instant heal themselves. It's not that big of a deal. So they are going to implement some debuffs. To the extent of what debuffs, I don't know. There has not been much developer talking on this. We we really don't know much at this point. But it looks like there's going to be some kind of healing debuff, some kind of damage, range damage debuff on characters. Um, but we'll have to tune in more and see. Now, I'm actually really excited for this difficulty. This is what I've actually wanted for a long time. And it puts me in a bit of conundrum, though, because I know that if I want to really get invested in this difficulty, I'm going to have to use a different class because the kind of the state of the game right now, clerics are really far behind other classes and I don't think they're good enough as a class unfortunately to contribute in a Reaper difficulty without a class pass now we do have a war priest pass with the favorite soul coming so maybe that'll help me out I don't know that's yet to be seen or maybe party healing is really needed again in Reaper difficulty uh, 
depending on the healing debuffs that could be possible we'll have to wait and see but it's a it's a thing where I might start looking into developing um, some of my other alternate characters so what effect is this going to have on the general population well I think it's going to have not much of an effect when it comes to the other parts of the game now what I would expect from this difficulty is that it's not going to be incentivized by any kind of large creep in power that would really defeat the purpose of this difficulty which is meant to be a challenge difficulty there's got to be a reason to run it which is why they will incentivize it somehow my guess is they'll either be incentivized by cosmetics or bragging rights or we might also see something in there like uh, maybe rare drops of cool um, convenience type items maybe it's like a very rare drops of like lesser hearts possibly although I find that probably a little bit doubtful if we do see a power creep it's going to be I would expect it to be very minor like maybe like just a couple extra damage or something on uh, some kind of weapon you know or some kind of bonus augment or something but if they do add anything extra it's going to be something very very minor this is not a difficulty that's going to be meant to be the the uh, mainstay that most players run this is definitely targeted towards your veteran elite players and that's good because I feel like those players have kind of been left out the past few years uh, granted they don't represent most of the population but there's no reason not to offer this mode if it can make those players happy and at the same time not upset the more casual players by offering any kind of power in these new difficulties that would make it seem required as far as the balance passes go and balancing characters one thing I think is important is that the class passes the balancing any nerfs or buffs they make does not should not consider reaper mode at all it's a challenge difficulty I saw a post on the forums recently someone's like wait 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 let's let's hold back on the the warlock nerfs coming next update until we see what reaper mode is and that's one thing where you know I, I would highly disagree this mode needs to be independent of the rest of the game independent of balancing your parameters you use for balancing now should remain the same so what are the benefits of this mode now what I think this mode will do is really help those long-term veteran players stay in the game longer I think what we've seen with in the past few years is that a lot of players really vet players kind of do everything there is to do in DDO in terms of gear grinding past life grinding and they get to the point where they're kind of stomping the elite difficulties really bad and they just get bored because eventually that gets old you know after you do that a handful of times it gets old you get bored and you're probably not gonna play the game but a higher difficulty like this should keep them coming back if it's designed properly and it should be extremely extremely hard uh, it should be one where if you're running like 10 skulls you should be failing a large percentage of the time so hopefully it'll it'll make those players seem a little bit uh, I guess Get, he stay a little more interested in the game also this kind of difficulty gives you more of an incentive to grind that gear say slave lords gear a lot of people have the attitude that you know why bother because we're farming it on elite what's the point of getting on this gear when we're already running elite easily and this will kind of give you a reason to grind out that gear because now you can say well shoot I need this gear so that I can try out uh, try out Reaper without this gear it, this gear is gonna make it easier for me to complete Reaper without the gear I might struggle to even have a shot at completing Reaper so that's a good thing it can kinda of have this in this bonus effect on the rest of the player base even if they aren't running Reaper currently it can kinda of give them an incentive to grind gear and to continue to improve their character and because the developers appeared to have followed the let's make all mobs champs uh, method in creating this difficulty I very much doubt that it took a ton of developer hours which is a good thing so this seems stri strictly like a win-win it's a way to offer your veteran players the challenge they've wanted and it's been a top complaint for sure if you've read the forums uh, on any kind of regular basis it's been a top complaint in the past few updates that uh, your veteran players want this difficulty and it appears that the developers are have been able to offer players that difficulty with minimal resources invested and if they incentivize it properly without including any kind of bonuses that make the casual players feel like they're missing out 
then this should be a win-win. It should be a huge success for the whole play, the play race as a whole. So guys, that's it for this video. Please comment below and let me know what you think about this. If you think this is awesome, if you don't like it, whatever, just comment. And let me know. I like reading your comments and I try to respond to all of them if I can. That's it for today. You all have a good one.